What is going on guys, it is your boy TPC here, bringing you another live video, and today I'm bringing you guys a different type of video that you guys are not used to seeing on my channel, but it's for geometry class and it's some extra credit assignments, so why not? And in this video, I'm going to be showing you, along with my friend Gabriel, how to construct a circle inscribed in a triangle, and how to circumscribe a triangle in a circle. So the materials you're going to need for this, um, things are a ruler, a pencil, a compass, and a marker. And yep, so let's get right into it. Okay guys, the first step in constructing a circle inscribed in a triangle is to construct the triangle itself. So as you guys can see, we have a triangle of our own and it's an equilateral triangle. You guys can use whatever triangle you want, but we're using uh, this one in this case. Angle bisectors for two of the angles. In this case, we're gonna do it for B and C as you guys are seeing right now. So once you construct one arc, you can make sure to keep the same distance for you guys don't want to mess up the distance because you're going to need it further. Now what you want to do is construct a line down the middle. With, mm -hmm, just like that. And then do it for C as well. Keeping the same distance. Construct the arc and do the same as you did in B. So once you do that, you want to Take your ruler and put a line down the middle where they intersect. So for step three, what you guys want to do is label the point of intersection, which is the in center, where the two um, angle bisectors intersect. All right, as you guys can see. So for step four, guys, what you want to do is place the pointed end of the compass on the point of intersection, as you guys are seeing right now. And then continue that, and you want to open the compass to the shortest distance of, to the point of intersection in any side of the triangle, constructing your triangle, your circle inside the triangle, as you guys are seeing. And keep in mind that the triangle has to touch all three sides of the has, the circle has to touch all three sides of the triangle, as you guys have seen right there. And this is how you construct a circle inscribed in a triangle. So going on, the second thing we're going to do is how to circumscribe a triangle in a circle. So the first step, and as always, you're going to have the same materials used in the last one. The first step of this is to draw your triangle. We drew the same triangle, which is an equilateral. So for the second step, what you guys want to do is construct the perpendicular bisector segment AB, as you guys see in right here. Alright. Make sure it goes all the way really long. Like so. After that, you want to construct a line down the middle. For step three, what you guys want to do is do the same thing you did in the other angle, but construct a perpendicular bisector of segment BC this time, not AB. And the same thing, you guys want to draw a line down the middle. So once you do that, you want to label all the inter intersections or label the points. And the biggest one is the point of intersection. After that, you want to label point P, which is the circumcenter. So after that, once you label point P as the circumcenter, you want to construct a circle using point P as a center and PB as a radius and make sure that the circle you're constructing around touches all three vertices of your triangle. Likewise, as you guys are seeing right here. Once you do that, you should see a circle around the triangle. And then once you do that, you want to outline the circle. Just so you can see it crisp and clear. And make sure that it's touching all three vertices as shown. And that's how you circumscribe a triangle in a circle, 
as you guys can see. And guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I hope you guys learned something from this. And although this video was out of the bloom, it was needed. And I, now you guys know how to inscribe a circle in a triangle and how to circumscribe a triangle in a circle. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And as always, stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to give the video a rating, subscribe if you're new, and I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, don't forget to keep on clashing. At least now you know how to pass a geometry class. Thank you guys. See ya.